folks, I'm back with another one. I hope you're well, I hope you and your family are doing good. Um, and I hope you are enjoying this warmer weather um, and whatever little breaks you've got booked, maybe, or just time with family now. Now things are easing up. Um, in this one, folks, I'm going to talk about the pressures that our friends, maybe, our even family put on us. Um, when it comes to things that we may struggle with and again it's not that everyone struggles with these things um, but in particular you know you, you sort of obvious for drink, drugs, gambling um, but that's not to say other addictions you know uh, don't exist because obviously they do um, but the ones where you you probably feel the most pressure by your friends, by your family, by associates, or, you know, drink, drugs and gambling. Certainly in my opinion, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I, I've, I've thought about this subject for quite a while, and I've also seen people um, buckle, if, if, if that's the word, um, under these sort of pressures. Um, and for me, it's a great shame, because... If you are struggling with gambling, drink, drugs, and you know your circle of people who you hang around with, you go to see, you're close to, um, and as I say, even family. If those people are, I'll just pick one. You know, if those you go to meet friends or family, and you know a group of them are talking about having a bet, you know, having a bet on the football with the Euros perhaps, and, you know, next thing you know, that they're, they're putting the money together, they're going to have a joint bet, they're going to go to the bookmakers or they're going to place it online. I think there's a pressure there, even though you may, you know, inside know that you're struggling with, in this case, gambling, it could be drink or drugs, um, or whatever but in this case I'll use gambling as an example even though inside you may know you're struggling with gambling I've, I've seen this happen where you know you're struggling but because the group of people you're around at this moment are wanting to have a bet they're wanting to chip in and you know put, put a big bet on and things like that I feel like there's a pressure put on the person who is struggling, especially if they, the the friends and family or whoever they're with, the friends, they don't know that, you know, you may have a problem with gambling. And for me, that is dangerous. It, it really is dangerous because as much as we're all here and we all make our own decisions in life, I know that, uh, some people are, are quite strong and they're able to make their own decisions uh, regardless of peer pressures and things and, and you know, good on them. But for for other people, it's not as easy as that. It's not as simple as that. And for me, when you talk about uh, someone who is struggling with gambling and you're in a position where you are in a circle of friends who you know, like a bet, or arranging to have a bet, um, arranging to go to the bookmakers, or casino, or whatever, then, in order not to feel as though, you're some outcast from that group, as though you're a letdown, as though you're mardy, as though, um, you know, you're different, in order to avoid, them feeling that way towards you, in your head, I think it's easy for some people to just give in and to go to the casino with them, to go to the bookmakers with them, to chip in and have a bet with them, you know, to talk about gambling with them. And again, we talk about what plays a part in keeping the cycle of addiction going. If you're struggling in that moment with your gambling already, by engaging in in that sort of activity activity with your friends, um, with your family, um, 
rather than being honest with them, which I know is not easy for everyone, but by engaging and doing that and going along with it in order to not feel or look different um, or be judged even, then it's very much detrimental to your chances as, of, of, you know, either a, a decent break from gambling or stopping gambling. And for me, it's about looking after yourself in, in, in that situation. And I know it's not easy for everyone. You know, people don't feel comfortable in feeling as though they are the outcast. You know, it's already hard enough to accept that maybe, look, I'm struggling with addiction, I'm struggling with gambling. Um, you know, and for people to then feel that way in front of the friends, it's going to be even harder. But I think what you need to look at if you are, if this makes sense to you, if you have felt this, if you have been in these situations, I think personally, in my opinion, is what you need to look at is when they go home at the end of the night, they don't necessarily have a problem. They may do. They may be in the same boat as you. But most likely, they don't have a problem. They can go home having spent some money gambling, you know, not even think twice about it. But unfortunately for you, if you're in this situation, you're struggling, at the end of the night when you go home, you know, if you've lost, you, you may want to chase. If you've spent more money than you could afford in the first place, it's that feeling of, what am I going to do now? Usually that turns you back into gambling to win the money you've lost. Again, chasing. Um, it's also really giving in to the addiction um, and allowing it to take more of a hold of you. And for me, it's important in them situations that if you can, maybe just pick one of your friends who, when you go out, you know, even if it's family, pick one person who you trust, who you really feel that you can talk to and explain, look, when we are out and we are talking about gambling and we are, you know, arranging to have a gamble, I'm struggling. I'm really struggling with it and I would appreciate it if you could help me um, perhaps with the others in mind just avoid that situation it may be that that person steps in and, and makes a little joke if you don't want to be quite honest with the, the old bunch of friends that you're with um, it may be just that they have a word with the other friends so if you don't feel comfortable in telling them, them you know yourself that you're struggling it may be that that one person you trust can have a have a word with them away from you um, and just, you know, point it out that maybe such and such, um, you know, it's best if we do something else. We can always go to the bookies later or casino later and just things like that. And I think um, they all uh, help the situation because going forward, if you continue to give in to that peer pressure, if you continue to um, not have it out there in front of your friends um, and these are people who do this type of thing often, such as going to the bookies, such as um, chipping in for a bet together, going to the casino, then it's just, again, allowing the addiction to take a further grip around you. Um, and, I mean, my number one tip with that, it would be... It's just be honest. Sit them down in a in a time and a place that's convenient for yourself, but don't wait forever for that right time. Sometimes there may not be right time, but sit them down either in a group or one by one and just be honest and say, look, in your own words, you know, I'm struggling. I'd appreciate it if you, you, you know, took it into consideration when when talking about gambling or drinking or whatever your addiction is that you're struggling with around me and I just think that is a big step for people to then um, really try and get hold of the addiction and if it hasn't got you fully yet really try and make steps towards taking a big break um, 
and then maybe working on you, you know yourself a little bit and if it's got you in a place where you do feel you need to stop then that is a massive tool to help you stop um, but yeah I just think giving in and putting yourself in in situations where there is a lot of pressure gambling's the norm drinking's the norm whatever you're struggling with putting yourself in social circles where that is very much you know prevalent um, I think is detrimental to anyone's hopes of you know recovery or, or taking a break um, and that's just something I wanted to point out because I have personally seen that happen a fair few times where someone is struggling and because the friends or the family are doing it the social circles are doing it then they end up giving in and so the addiction takes a, a much firmer grip one by one you know step by step um, so yeah I just wanted to point that out there um, you know I always try and highlight potential uh, hazards if you like um, to stopping someone um, slipping further into the addiction or maybe to help them stop and this is just another one so I did want to put it out there um, I am going to also do another video um, on on the fear of, of what people will think which I think will sort of tie into what I'm trying to get at in this video um, the fear of what people will think of, of me if I did this did that so um, that video will be out shortly as well so check that one out um, but yeah, I'll leave this one there, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you can relate to this. Um, and then we'll obviously, I'll, I'll always reply in the comments. Um, as always, reach out. My contact info is in the description below. Um, if you do find this video has been of value to you or if you've enjoyed it, um, consider leaving a like on the video. It all helps spread these videos into, into the eyes and ears of people may really need it um but yeah i'll leave it there folks and i will uh, i'll catch you on the next one uh, enjoy your summer folks